Due to my recent successes on YouTube, I've been able to afford to get a haircut. And if I can just get a few more subscribers, I'll be able to afford to get some pants. Here's the, uh, the scene of the crime. We're talking about thinning paint today. And this is a topic which is ridiculously complicated. The best advice I can give you is to pick a paint and stick with it. If you like gold and soul flat, pick that, stick with that. If you like Ravel Aquacolor, stick with that. These are all paints that I believe are top quality and you can use them for a brushing. I also happen to like Tamiya acrylic paint for brushing. Some people say it can't be brushed. They are wrong. They just don't know how. Now these paints Ravel Gold and Soflat Tamiya. These represent paints that I will always thin with dun 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 Windex. That's right. Window cleaner. So flat, aqua color, Tamiya. Windex get thin. Not not water, not alcohol. No alcohol involved here. Let's talk about some other very high quality paints. If you can find them, Polyscale and Polyscale's little brother, Model Master Acryl, really great paint. Vallejo Model Color, great paint. What do we thin them with? Water. Distilled water, not Windex. I don't know what it is about the Windex. It reacts to something in these paints and creates bubbles. And it'll mess up your finish. You don't want that. So as a demonstrator right now, we're going to take a look at this Vallejo color, which I have been saving just for this. This is called Middlestone on the bottle. I don't. This is not Middlestone. No way. This is uh, more like Panzer Yellow. So that's what I'm calling it. Anyway, I got it out of that plastic bottle where it's impossible to manage, and we put it into this jar. Vallejo Panzer Yellow. Now, if you just put it in the jar and you go ahead and uh, try to brush it, good luck on that. Uh, you maybe you can do it. I don't know. Some people can. I don't know. I like my paint to be thinner than this. This, you can see, is that's thick. That's way too thick for me. So I'm going to add water to it. Here's my bottle of Windex. This is what? What? Pop quiz. Somebody. Use this? Do I use this on the Leo? Windex? That's right. I don't. Thank you, Bueller. No Windex. It's water. Water goes in here. Now, I have this squirt bottle on here, but I'm not going to make you try to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to do this by the numbers. Step number one. We're going to bring out our friend, the eyedropper. Okay? It's got some bubbles in there and everything. I don't know. Anyway. Eyedropper. An eyedropper, when it's really full, is one milliliter. Now let's see that in action. I'm going to squeeze this bulb like mad, put it in the water, and bring it out. That's about one milliliter. Okay? Now, according to us people on the autistic spectrum, it ought to be full. It ought to be up there, right? Well, no. You squeeze the bulb as hard as you can. You pull up as much liquid as you can. That's one milliliter. That's an eyedropper full. Okay? I got a little measuring cup here that I can test it with. One. Two. 
three, whoops, that was a little short, four, five. An inexact science faux show. Anyway, let's take a look at it here. Yes, so, so groovy, yeah. All right. There it is, five milliliters. You can believe me or not, don't care. All right. I'm going to put at least five milliliters in this. I'm quite serious. This is uh, originally came in a uh, bottle that was marked as like uh, 18 milliliters, 17 milliliters, right there. 17 milliliters, and I'm going to put five milliliters of water in that. There it goes. And this is the beginning of what's going to happen here. I have a tendency to put too much water in there. <laughs> I know that. And I could have done that this time, but I don't think so. I think five is about the right amount. And I'm going to stir it. And the first, the thing you have to remember here is put in your water a little at a time. Don't do what I did. Put in one eyedropper full at a time. And then thoroughly stir it. That's why we put it in this big wide mouth jar. Thoroughly stir it. Now you can see it's still kind of thick, but I think that's about right. Keep stirring. Don't under stir. Years of shaking may have, you know, caused, you know, serious damage to your neurological system, but that's okay. Fight through that. Just <laughs> gotta fight through that. Okay. That looks about right to me. All right. Moving right along here. We're going to get one of our friends. The camel hair brush. One of the reasons we need the paint so thin is because of camel hair brush. This is a wimpy little brush. It can't really deal with these stiff paints with the heavy body. Okay. What I'm going to show you right now is some earlier experiments that I did. We're going to pull up on this. And we're going to show you what this should look like. You can see it has this... Just go on in there. You can see what that looks like right there. That, friends and neighbors, is what one coat should look like on bare plastic. You can see there are light and dark spots, but you're not seeing anything so... You're not seeing any huge brush marks. The light and dark spots, the streakiness, is something that's going to go away in about five seconds because I'm going to paint on another coat. I think this paint's still a little bit, a little bit too thick. It's all right, though. I had a uh, some of it that I thinned more. Now what I am going to do right now is take that brush and I'm going to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Not too much though. That two coats should be enough. If I'm careful. Should be enough. Now When that dries, it's going to look like the lid 
on this jar, which as you can see, is pretty much free of brush marks. There's a, a, a pattern of reflectance that you can see, and that will go away when you put on a coat of flattener. And I don't spray the flattener either. That gets brushed on too. That's uh, tell me a flat base and uh, future. And um, <laughs> you can Google that, all right? Okay. This went a little long, but it's a very complex topic, and we're going to try. We're going to try as best we can to uh, address these things one by one and not spend all day doing it. So, stay in focus. Do what you can about that skin condition. Mr. Brush says bye. <laughs>